that's the next step okay talking about phase jive phase six all of that the the future of the marvel cinematic universe right. uh bob Iger uh had some questions on the marvel sequels he says you're going to bring back characters but you're going to see a lot of newness okay and one of the questions that he had i'm gonna skip down to it right here um he brought this up okay he says uh marvel there's seven thousand characters and a lot of stories to tell okay uh, we said what we have to look at at Marvel is not necessarily the volume of Marvel storytelling, but how many times we go back to the well on certain characters. Sequels typically do well for us, but do you need a third or a fourth or is it time to turn to other characters? I think this is the problem right here is that Marvel is making three and four movies about a single character where maybe they only need to make two movies okay you establish these guys and then now you start putting them in team-ups you put them in the avengers because look at this last ant-man movie this is the third ant-man movie that came out this thing is going to lose money this thing is going to lose a lot of money all right and like bob Iger has to be sitting around like why did we make this shit? like what the fuck are we doing making a third ant-man movie and spending 200 milli on that movie and then we ain't gonna make a dime off of that wait what's going on here okay and I already did a video about that, okay? But I want you to give your comments on this concept that maybe Marvel only needs to do a couple of movies for each individual character, and then that'll be better money well spent in a way, right? Okay, okay, we could take this $200 million that we was about to put into a third movie over here, and we're going to slide that over into a completely different character and start building up that IP. What do you think about that? So what I think about that is, is that, yes, I agree. It's what I said before in the previous segment. You're going yeah. to have to connect the dots. I'm going to do, let's say, blah, 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 man. Uh, it's a great movie that does, let's say, 600 to 700,000, um, 600 to 700 million dollars. And then okay. I'm going to have to connect it to out of nowhere person, you know, and I'm going to have to have those movies link up so that it right. can be the chain mail smoking thing. And I don't want to have to wait to the end credits to get that. It needs to blend more. You need to have an overall picture of what you want to do, a connect the dots issue to make me say, wait a minute, I need to go back to phase this movie and phase this to see this to make sure that, oh, man, it's all it's all relative. The connective the connective tissue in this thing is not adding up because they're not adding the DNA like they need to. They're not starting right. from scratch. And it's such a it's such a bad it's it's such a bad plot line. Excuse me. They are starting from scratch. But they're not connecting the characters the way they need to be character and the reason why. You've got more questions than you got answers. You're saying, wait a minute, why did you make why did you make this Ant-Man and Marvel to show off Kang? You could have done that, he did that in Loki. Loki. They did that in Loki. That was my point. They did that in Loki. Like, well, so what did we get out of this thing? You right? didn't get anything. You got, you got, you got, you know what you got? You got Ant Girl. Here's the beginning of Ant Girl. What you, got, <laughs> what you got was a, a character nobody cared about and nobody will care about after this movie. That Nobody cared about her in the movie. Right. 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 But what you really got was, um, what you really got was, hey, this is a movie. This is a movie that, hey, you, um, what you got was, this is a part, this is the part of the movie that isn't really going to make sense. It's right. not going to add up to the long term of what you do, right? It's not. It's just not going to do that at all. It, it's how can it how can it be something that it's not right? It just doesn't doesn't make sense. It's yeah. it's a movie. It's a movie that is where is the where where does it where does it say hey I want to see part one and I want to see part two and it's going to lead to that other thing that we're leading up to. It's not. So for us as as movie fans to say man. Where do I get? Where's the payoff here? Where, what, what did that mean to watch that movie? It's not there, dude. It's not. There's there. no payoff, and uh, it, we're so used to the trilogy. The nerd community. Yeah, but we're so used to that trilogy setup, right? Everybody expects right. three movies. You know, we're used to that trilogy. Like, there's a part one, part two, part three. There's your trilogy. You got three films. That works, I think, outside of a cinematic universe, perfectly fine. Okay. But when you're inside of a cinematic universe and these guys are kind of connected with a whole lot of other films, you know, they're showing up in post credit scenes or they're making cameos or they maybe even do a full team up with a particular character. Like kind of how you saw with uh, Thor or not Thor, um, um, Doctor Strange, where you have Wanda in there and then you bring in this America Chavez character. And then but it's a Doctor Strange movie. You could do that. All right. But if it doesn't work, 
then number one, you've messed this other character up, right? Like it worked really well with Civil War when you introduced Black Panther, okay? You introduced Black Panther in the Civil War. That worked out great, all right? And then that set Black Panther up for his own movie. We already got kind of his story. We know who the character is. All right, now we can move on and go and tell that particular story. Um, but then if you set up like, um, you know, like I was saying with America Chavez, and I mean, that's a character I don't really care about. A lot of people don't really care about. So they did that character no justice because they kind of put her in there and she's just kind of, ah, you just kind of hear, but it's really not an interesting character that people are into or people are trying to watch and pay attention to. Oh, oh I can't wait to see this uh, America Chavez movie, right? So I think a forgettable it's, character. She's a forgettable. Oh yeah, hundred percent forgettable. Like I, it took me a minute to remember who was this other chick that they threw in there besides Wanta. Oh yeah, it was America Chavez. All right, and and, and again, what are the plans for her? I don't know. I don't know what Marvel plans to do with these characters that they've thrown around and introduced. They did a lot of work in Phase Four, man. Like Phase Four, you uh, they they introduced so many people, and I mean, how many of these movies are you really interested in watching? You know what I mean? Like, how many of these cats are you really interested? Like, oh, man, I can't wait to see this movie. Okay. None. Um, or, or like Moon Knight. Are you interested in Moon Knight showing up in the movie? Oh, my God. I forgot all about that dumb show. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Man, man, Marvel has a lot of stuff on the plate. And it's like, it's like you ever sit down and you're looking at a plate of food and it's like, Damn, man, this looks like a lot of food. I don't think I even want half of this stuff on here. You know, you start just kind of moving stuff off your plate. That's what Marvel has right now. Yeah, gotta, it's like me on Thanksgiving when it, my mom used to bring out all that kind of stuff, that turkey and the stuff. And I'm like, this food is disgusting. Ew, right. I don't want this. You I don't want to eat, eat that nasty stuff. <laughs> I want the turkey, the ham, and the mashed potatoes, or the oh, turkey, man. ham, and the sweet peas, yeah. or, the, or the sweet potatoes. Oh. That was it. <laughs> no. no, get it away. You know what I would do? You know what I would do, D? I would, I would do this. <laughs> Put it in napkins, <laughs> just throw it away. It's ain't looking. Just <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, that's real talk. That's real talk, man. That's what Marvel has right now. Marvel has that kind of an issue where they have too many characters. Um, and I, I, I understand where Bob Iger was coming from. Let me go back to this article real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Shit. Oh, hold on. Skipping ahead. OK, I understand where he was coming from with this. Um, you know, he says there's nothing in any way inherently off in terms of the Marvel brand. He's right. There's nothing wrong with Marvel. Marvel is the stories and the characters. There's nothing wrong with these characters. What's wrong is the way Disney is approaching these characters because they don't know what they're doing right now. They have no clue as to what they're I doing do. with these characters. They don't know how to introduce them. They don't know which. And then they say, well, you know, he says, I think we have to look at what characters or stories we're bringing in. It's like, no, man, you got to look at who's making this crap. Because the people that are making this stuff right now, they're not doing any justice, even with the good characters that they got. I, I think, and I'll close it off with this. Yeah. I think, I think what they're trying to do under the previous regime after Bob Iger left was they were trying to maximize their products because they're trying to get people back in the seats yep. to make any and everything. And I, I appreciate that as a consumer, as a fan of what they do, I appreciate it. However, I want good content, not bad content. Right. Flooding the market with things too, too, too fast without the type of quality that's necessary quality yeah. over quantity right i'm having to wait all year to see loki i want i can't wait to see i can't wait to see loki oh okay. you're looking forward to loki huh looking forward to loki i'm a loki fan i like the loki it was great okay. I, 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 love, I love something that can make thing. but this they, they've got to clean up what he's i get what he's doing he's saying, man i, I gotta I gotta make, I gotta shuffle the deck so bad, so hard that you totally it gives you space to 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 take in something new that we promise is gonna be what we need. But mm -hmm. this this happy meal approach that they're trying to give existing fans is awful. Because you I, know what, Pete? Oh hold God. up, that's a term you use a lot. Explain happy meal to the people that haven't watched before. Sure. So the Happy Meal approach is what, you know, the big Mickey D's does, right? Mickey D's does what? I give them the Happy Meal because I'm trying to get the customer later, right? I'm trying to build up. And I don't feel like that's necessary. When your meal's already prepped, I'm the parent. I'm right. the 
I'm the nephew. I get to yeah. talk to my nieces and nephews and let them know, hey, look, man, once upon a time, that's what storytelling is all about. Hey, man, check out this movie. It was a great movie in the 80s called Ghostbusters. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. They don't need to know. They know, oh, oh man, that's, that's what my dad and my uncle would talk about. Ooh, hey, here's the cartoon. Here, I'm letting you know. I'm building it up to it. You're building got, an audience, right? A happy meal. That you start them as they're young. You give right. them the happy meal, and then you start building the audience. You start getting them hooked on McDonald's, or you get them hooked on the stuff that you are trying to sell to them. So down the road, you got adults that ate their first happy meal when they was five, and now they're eating all of the McDonald's, everything else, you know. Right. And that's how you begin. You start them young, okay? And what they're and trying to do is this, what they're trying to do is they're trying to sell books, not comic books. That's the problem. Well, they're trying to sell merch. Is really what they want right. to sell. That's they want what, to sell merchandise it, without the comic books. You need the comic books. You need the comic books to sell. Um, I, I think comic books kind of just serve as you know, like I, I I enjoy comic books. You enjoy comic books. I think comic book fans do. But the way Disney looks at it, it's just like low rent research and development. You know, they just got these. Um, they got these guys just making comics and it's like, okay, which one of these things are we going to actually promote to the next level? Okay. All of these various characters, like he says, he's talking about here, we got 7,000 characters. Okay. Which one of these are going to pop catch with the audience and then we can take off. All right. Now let's put it in a cartoon. Oh, people like the cartoon. Okay. Now let's put it in a TV show. Oh, wow. Everybody liked the TV show. Okay. Now it goes to, to the movies, but some of these things tap out at the comic level. Some of them tap out at the cartoon level. They just never watch, take off. If you watch their, if you watch their cartoon series uh mm -hmm. that came out a few years ago about Avengers, yeah, they they put characters in there, right? right. But it right. doesn't necessarily work because it's 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 and it's a cartoon because it's not it doesn't gel well. Some personalities in those cartoons they don't mix, and you know yep. you, when you, what happens when you do oil and water, right? It, it's oh, yeah, they don't they don't work well together. So. I feel like I feel like this this is just a learning lesson for them. Do do we want to go through it? No. You see that happening with Disney products with with, with uh, that last phase of Star Wars. It was it was crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. They Disneyfied it. They yeah, did. they don't they don't have a they don't have a clear direction, and I think that's basically where Bob Iger is coming out trying to figure out what the direction is going to be uh, going forward. All right, folks. You ruined this. Your you ruined your this. Oh, wait. You ruined this. You oh, DuckTales, man. DuckTales was great, man. <laughs> DuckTales was great back in the day. Everybody, give me your thoughts and your comments in below in regards to Marvel. Let's move on, T, to the next topic.